If you're confused about whether to get a COVID booster, join the club. The messaging has been wildly inconsistent, but some people aren't waiting for the official go ahead and they've got a nickname. They're called Booster Bandits. Here's Jim Murray. Ted Rawl is a so-called Booster Bandit. He just got his third COVID shot without his doctor's approval or the FDA's. I walked into a CVS and I said, hi, I'd like a COVID vaccine and they didn't ask me whether I'd had one before or not. Here they are, his official CDC Vax cards. Yep, he's got two now. This is my first shot and my second shot. This is my third shot. The 58-year-old cartoonist says he got a third shot because he has a history of lung disease. I can't get COVID. I don't think I would make it, so I had to do whatever I needed to do. To me, this was a life or death situation. More than 1 million Americans are reported to have gotten unauthorized booster shots. And while the nickname Booster Bandits may suggest it's illegal, it's not. And according to this medical ethicist, it may not be unethical either. I'm not going to condemn it. I'm just going to say, boy, be careful. Wait another month, wait another two months. We're going to have the answer to what's the best time to get a booster. Meanwhile, there are concerns that President Biden may have spoken at a super spreader event today, the U.N. General Assembly. It's my honor to speak to you for the first time as president of the United States. 100 leaders from around the world are in New York for the annual gathering, but some are refusing to get vaccinated. Right before Biden spoke today, the president of Brazil addressed the assembly. He's known as the Donald Trump of South America, and he's anti-vaccine. Because he's unvaxxed, he's not allowed to eat indoors at restaurants in New York. Last night, he was spotted gobbling a slice of pizza, standing on the sidewalk, surrounded by his cabinet.